tonight, we're digging beyond the numbers, looking at the emotional toll the violence has taken on one grieving mother, mother on the city's south side. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us now. Megan, she lost not one or two, but three sons to the city's gun violence epidemic. Erica, three sons shot and killed all within walking distance of the spot I'm standing in right now. Jeremy and Jawan died in 2010. Their older brother, Joseph, lost his life on Sunday. You're talking to police detectives. You're talking to the coroner. Are you getting this horrible deja vu? All of them. All of them. I, I thought I would never go through this ever again. You know, I lost two boys to gun violence. I lost a nephew to gun violence two years after my two boys. And then 10 years later, my oldest son. When is this going to stop? Really, when is this going to end? Cherie Tribbett says it's a pain she never dreamed she'd have to experience again. Her son, 34-year-old Joseph Brooks, was one of the 10 people shot and killed this Memorial Day weekend. He was standing on the 7800 block of South Ingleside when someone fired shots from a black SUV early Sunday morning. Now she's reliving a nightmare from almost a decade ago when she lost her 17-year-old son, Jeremy Brooks, the same way. He'd been fatally shot here near 78th and Cottage Grove in broad daylight. Then, just three weeks later, her other son, 18-year-old Jawan Brooks, had gone out for pizza when he was fatally shot just a block away, also on Cottage Grove. Now this holiday weekend's violence has brought back all of her pain and more. But didn't you think the violence would slow down during the stay-at-home order? Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. Honestly, I, I did. But it didn't work. It's obvious. It didn't work. It did not work. Oh, do you think one is hard enough, but three? Now, Joseph was taken to the University of Chicago with a gunshot wound to the left side of his body. That's where he died early Sunday morning. The family has already received an outpouring of tributes to him on social media. Mm, that mother's pain. Was anyone, Megan, arrested in any of the cases involving her three sons? Erica, sadly, no. Tribbett says she never got any answers about her two sons that died in 2010. As for Joseph, at last tech check, Chicago police said they had no one in custody and Area 2 detectives were still investigating. Live in Grand Crossing, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Thank you, Megan.